So here we are, everybody. Welcome to what is going to become our new home. So this is Becky's parents' garden that they have. There was originally a garage here on this foundation, which recently got knocked down. And that's what got us thinking about how practical this could be for somewhere to keep the house. So what we're ultimately thinking of doing is putting a pitch just kind of here, along there. And then this is um, just like soil beds. So we're thinking maybe we'll make use of that. The house is nine feet wide. So from that point, we need to go nine feet across to here. So I need to cut through this foundation because it's raised off the ground. I think at the far end, it's around about six or seven inches higher than what this concrete is here. So that's why I got the disc cutter over there so I can cut through there. And then this is a big concrete breaker, which I'm gonna to use to break all of that and then break up all of this concrete. And then essentially we're just going to cover it in 20 mil shingle, much like we've already got a home at the moment, um, just to create a nice level flat area to reverse the house onto. We're also thinking of at some point putting a gate in the fence over there so then we can bring the van in and leave it here all the time and then eventually turn the whole thing into like a bit of an enclosed garden space, make it look nice and tidy and usable. I've only got these tools hired for the day so I need to get cracking with that but Becky's outside the fence at the moment, Hi, cutting back some stinger nettles <laughs> and struggling with the dog. Do we need to put it into bags? Uh, possibly, I don't know. Once it's dead, it will all kind of shrivel up. Yeah, but it'll be better if it's in the back. There's also essentially a car park to the rear as well. So the access is really good. We don't have to come through the front to get here. We can just park around the back okay. or reverse the van in and just gain full access from the rear, which is like perfect. From the rear? From the rear. Yeah, it just kind of made a lot of sense really. Debbie's found a bird. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get cracking with the, uh, the demolition anyway. I think I'm gonna do the cutting first, but I need to mark out exactly where I'm gonna do it um, and then get smashing. I've been at it now for about at least an hour and a half. Oh, my mouth is so dry, I need a drink. I'm starting to get blisters on my hands. I went and um, got some better gloves, but yeah, I've still got some blisters coming through, but just got to kind of crack on with it, really. If we don't get it done, we're just gonna have to hire the breaker for even longer. So it's gonna cost more money. I'm hoping that's the worst of it done anyway, because that's the thick foundation. And the rest of it, I'm really hoping is like quite thin. Shouldn't take too long, but I'm gonna have a quick break anyway. Might have something to eat, we made a sandwich, so quick lunch stop, I think. Hello, pooper boy. What are you doing? I'm trying to snooze, but you're interrupting. Yeah, I'm sorry. Coleslaw, tomato, cucumber, and lettuce. Cheese. You didn't put cheese in mine. No, why not? I know. Awesome. My God, we finished. Breaking that is anyway, 
still got to like loosen it all up and get rid of it. Oh jeez. It's about half past four so we've been at it about five hours. We've had a bit of help from Becky's brother. He came out and helped us for a couple of hours. So the actual house is going to go kind of along this line, maybe to there, across and then down. And then we thought that we would just do a little bit here, along here, and then to this line here, I cut along there, and then we just like broke all of that up. But that is a lot of concrete. Well, I'm glad that's over anyway. Oh, I've got blisters on my hands. I've got a blister there, blister there. I think these ones are okay. And then I've got a blister on this one. That's quite a big one, that. And then I've got a little tiny one there. I think that's all right. It's when you're pulling up the breaker because the gravity is taking it down and then you've got to pull it up and that's what gives you the blisters. Oh, my back feels a little bit tender as well, to be honest. I don't think we're going to do too much more today. I really wanted to get the breaking and the cutting done so we can off hire the tools so they're not costing us any more money. It's a lot different working for yourself rather than doing it as a job because when you're doing it for yourself, you just want to get it done. Whereas if I was getting paid to do this as a job, I probably would have taken a couple of days to do it. We haven't decided whether or not we're going to um, get a skip or pay somebody to come and collect it. There's an awful lot of weight there, so I think if someone was gonna come and pick it up, they'd probably have to do five or six runs to the tip or wherever it is they take it. We're thinking what we might do tomorrow is we might just break it up so it's loose and then just pile it up at the end and then we can start sorting out this and then if a skip comes and we can load it or, or whatever really works. But I'm glad it's all over anyway. Oh. Imagine just like shutting your eyes and then when you open them, you go back in time like six hours. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. Good riddance, that's what I say. Oh, God, I swear it's twice as heavy as it was this morning. Ugh. Lovely. I haven't done a day's graph like that in a very long time. We're going back again tomorrow though, like I was saying earlier, I think we're just gonna kind of pile up the rubble and then either get someone to take it or get a skip or something. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Beyond that though, we're just gonna pretty much level it all as best we can and then get in a few big like ton bags of shingle, like 20 mil shingle and then just kind of cover it in that just to make it look a bit nicer. And then eventually we'll kind of put some plants or vegetables in or something and make it more of like a garden. We're not gonna be able to move until at least the end of September anyway, because we can't get somebody to move it for us. It's free before then. So we've still got another month on the campsite anyway. So there's no real rush. We've got plenty of time to sort everything out. Um, but we're gonna watch a bit of telly, eat a bit of chocolate, because I think we just deserve it. <laughs> We'll see you guys in the morning for more demolition, not really demolition, but more building work. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Got any questions, leave them in the comment section, but we'll see you tomorrow. So until then, safe drive, stay alive, have a lovely day. Don't spill your custard, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.